If you had the power of God for three seconds, what would you undo? Story one, I'd undo my hearing loss. I wouldn't go back in time and mess with stuff, but just the chance to hear properly again? I'd be so happy. Story two, erase cancer from ever existing. If I destroy religion, then another will come. If I create a borderless world, war could ensue over cultural differences. If I take away their weapons, then they may not be able to defend themselves, or they will just build other weapons. If I destroy all disease, humans may not evolve properly. They beat the plaque, polio, HIV, and soon diabetes. But they just can't seem to stump this one. Humans already have the answer to solve world hunger. They just need to put logistics aside and become closer as one species. If I destroy any humans or governments, it could cause favoritism, and those that survived would hate the spared. So, no matter what I do, there could be fallout, but fuck cancer. Men. Women and children deserve a chance to live. I've watched mothers say goodbye to children and children say goodbye to their mothers. Husbands living alone holding on to her memory. Being God can be summed up by Bender from Futurama. If I get too involved, PPL die, and if I'm not involved, PPL die. Nothing I do seems to be right, but the one thing I can do is destroy cancer and free humanity from its chains. Sorry to ramble, just lost a mentor from cancer. Edit for ad on Story 3 Social Media. It poses threats to democratic societies due to the rapid spread of misinformation, filter bubbles that limit exposure to diverse viewpoints, manipulation of public opinion, amplification of extremism and hate speech, and privacy concerns with data exploitation. The massive negative impact on society outweighs the dubious benefits of funny memes, cat pictures, and brain-numbing short videos. Story 4. I'd either restore the Earth to a balanced state with the ozone layer fixed and global warming done. Plus, I'd get rid of all the plastic and litter and essentially just let things start again. Or I'd bring back the dodo, TBH, I'm kind of torn. Story 5. Okay, three seconds is meaningless in the face of omnipotence, which I assume is what meant by power of a god. But things I would change. I'd make murder impossible. Thou shalt not kill. No, you are unable to kill. I'd also undo sinuses, or at keist optimize them so getting a cold won't make my head feel like I've crammed a pair of walnuts up my nose. Story 6. Something small, like my grandma dying last year. I just wanted to spend some more time with her. If I changed something big like the Second World War, whilst it would remove all those years of suffering, I'd be too afraid of a waterfall effect of events that happen as a consequence of that. The outcome could be even worse. Something makes me believe that it's possible to rip a hole in the space-time continuum, too. But I'm too ignorant to understand what that actually means, so yeah. Something relatively insignificant and nothing too far in the past. Story 7. That's easy, organized religion. Not the practice of religion itself, but the grand-scale profiteering and control caused by powerful bodies using religion as a shield. Imagine how different the world would be without it. Story 8. I would make it so that League of Legends never existed. And I'd watch as the world is in peace and everyone is happy. No gun is ever made. Everybody loves each other and the sing and dance in a circle. Story 9. Maybe it's not the wisest thing, but gut feeling is that mosquitoes need to go. Fuck those little bastards. And I don't care about which species are the bad ones and which ones aren't so harmful to people. All mosquitoes gone. Second thought was Alzheimer's disease. Story 10. I would replace all non-domestic animals with their Pokemon counterparts and create all accompanying medicines, capturing devices, battle items, TMs, and berries so that Pokemon can live comfortably and humans can enjoy battling. Story 11. Amnesia. I would wipe everyone's mind. Maybe it'll give this existence a reset. If no one can remember anything, then religion, a major problem, would not exist. Conflicts in general would not exist outside of primal instinct for attaining food. Story 12. I'd smite all the people who have hurt someone vulnerable and never apologized after checking whether they carry regret in their heart. The people who had maliciously killed, raped, molested, or traumatized a child intentionally would have their arms severed at the elbow, be castrated, and a circle tattooed on their forehead, and mild brain damage. People who had plotted and carried out a plan of revenge would get a square tattooed if their revenge was excessive or the offense was small. I'd give them mild brain damage. Sadists would get sadist tattooed. They'd get mild brain damage as well. People who habitually put others at risk while mitigating their own risk would get coward tattooed. People who create large amounts of unnecessary work for others would get dunce. Everyone alive would be informed of the changes and significance of the tattoos. Everyone would be notified which of their social contacts had which offense, 
in case people removed them. Brain damage would be done in a way that promotes gentleness. I'd clear everyone's bodies of the chronic diseases and viruses that we are aware of. Herpes, HPV, HIV, hepatitis, etc. Restore everyone's tissue health to 18YO. Correct everyone's deformities and disabilities. Make the fearful people feel love, warmth, and self-worth. Make the proud people fear God. Stabilize the climate. Each person's two deepest insecurities would be resolved in their preferred manner. Story 13. I'd light up every planet like a beacon that has life greater than microbes on it in this galaxy and make it known to all the others and go from there. It's either us by ourselves, a handful in the dark, or teeming with others. All would lead to interesting outcomes. Story 14. I would heal my daughter's disability and go back in time before her accident. It breaks my heart seeing he struggle every day. All her friends have grown up and got stuff going on like normal teenagers. And she's left behind not understanding why she can't do the things her friends do. That's what I would wish for. Story 15. I'd undo all crimes done against people. Optional. That is, let the people choose whether they want it undone or not. Got robbed, scammed? You got your money back. Assaulted? Undone. No memory of the event either. Optional. Lost a limb? You got it back. I think it'll help us as humans quite a bit. Of C being God, I won't overdo it and undo all crimes. Just the ones that were committed against people directly, like murders, essay, robberies, etc. Story 16. Well, I've been fascinated by the crow lately, so I say I would retroactively cause somebody to check that damn prop gun in the 90s because Brandon Lee seriously seemed like a cool guy. And with those two other seconds, I permanently cure cancer and make myself Kryptonian. Story 17 depends on which god you mean. The Judeo-Christian God is a being outside of time, so three seconds is also forever to him. But I'd use part of that time to see what the consequences of undoing anything would have, and see if it's worth undoing anything at all. Story 18. Kill off mosquitoes, hit every greedy head of a pharmaceutical company, insurance company, bank, and telecommunications company with a meteor instantaneously, so that it's very apparent you shouldn't be that guy, then upload the ability to drive like a normal, responsible person to anyone that owns an Altima or cheap V6 version of any V8 car, such as a Charger, Challenger, Mustang, etc. And if I had time, lower crooked politicians into a boiling pot of water. With my powers of God, it shouldn't be too hard to make this happen as I see fit. Story 19. Grant myself the power to see into the future, like in great detail, any time I want for as long as I want, without no drawbacks, cooldowns, or side effects. This would grant me wealth and fast technological advancement. Once I get enough money, I can start peeking into the tech side and invest into R&D, cure cancer, discover the next cool gadget, etc. I'll be basically making a money factory that would also benefit humankind. Story 20. I'd make Thanos' glove so that said god power would be eternal as long as I held that glove. I'd then remove half the population with a population cap of 2 billion people. Beyond that, women would simply stop ovulating for as long as the population capacity is at max. I'd then remove the ability to feel hatred towards a fellow human being. I'd make an edible plant that had the magical ability to reverse aging and both somatic and mental disease so that those who want to stay a certain age forever can do so. But also those that feel they have lived enough can simply stop consuming the plant and allow themselves to die. This plant would also taste like various kinds of meats, removing the need for meat production. This plant would have the optimal nutritional values so that one could thrive on this plant alone. It would be able to grow in any environment both inside and outdoors. It would be durable, like a potato. I'd then turn my focus on molding society into focusing on sustainability and self-sufficiency, as well as freeing up as much land as possible to wildlife, basing agriculture on vertical farms around urban areas, and limit the use of materials that require mining as much as possible. I'd then step back and let the Jews run it all. Story 21. I won't lie, I think the first second of omnipotence Seeing all the people of the world, what they are doing, what they are thinking, I'd be hitting CTRLQ on planet Earth pretty quick. There are good kind people out there, and there are okay people with good kind moments, but I think a lot of people in the world are truly twisted. Story 22. The main problem with this is that we don't know the whole situation. Will I know beforehand that I will have three seconds of power, or someone is going to tell me and how much time will I have before actually having such power? Immediately? After a while, this is very important to know to answer the question. Story 23. 
create myself a checkpoint at the start of the three seconds which I would revert to in varying amounts of time per reversion, then enact a change and watch how it plays out. Once I revert, I can make different changes with different amounts of time before I revert. Then, once I find the best outcome, I will not create the checkpoint, or just no time limit and make the change permanent. Story 24. Everything I regret. I don't care about what butterfly effect it would have and also, the things I regret. I already had a gut feeling was a bad idea, but I decided to ignore it and do them anyway. I try never to cross my gut feeling. It always turns out bad. I don't count ignorant mistakes as regret. Story 25. Give every human being a TARDIS without the time-traveling capabilities with full knowledge of how to pilot thee and create more of them. Throw in a searchable map of the entire universe and stop aging at 27 for good measure. You can still die if you want, so not immortality. Have fun, everyone, and enjoy the adventure. Story 26. Assuming I can't use my new powers to eliminate the time restraint, I would make myself all-knowing and infinitely intelligent so that I would instantly know the best plan of action from there. If that is also not allowed, I would be afraid I would try to do good, but end up making everything worse. So I would give myself infinite money and non-aging, opt-outable immortality. This way I can work within natural ways to better the world, without the risk of absolutely fucking everything. If I have time, make a full cure to all cancers discovered gradually within the next three, five years. Story 27 I'm a heathen, but if I was an omnipotent and omniscient deity, I would. Eliminate the requirement for food and water from humans. Every bit of debt planet-wide is zeroed out. Fresh start for everyone. All rapists instantly become eunuchs. Aliens arrive and terraform the planet, eliminating all life on Earth and allowing the planet to have a fresh start. Story 28. I'd return CO2 levels to 30 ppm, giving humanity time to deal with it. I'd eliminate particulate plastics. I'd accumulate all the radioactive disaster waste from various nuclear accidents into contained safe storage units and have someone from each responsible nation-state's regulatory body have a dream regarding their location. I'd restore the oceans and the lands, where possible, to a Neolithic state. I'd cure the most grave conditions of diseases over the next few weeks. I'd leave the discovery of a few new cures in the minds of a few revolutionary new scientists. I'd provide to law enforcement detailed evidence of various crimes and syndicates so that over the course of the next few months, folks who need to go to jail get there. I'd engineer it so that three very large comets are going to impact Mars, Luna, and Mercury, allowing each to have an atmosphere that is as dense or more dense than Earth. Story 29. All currency would be eliminated, and if anyone tried to recreate currency of any kind, even from rocks, it would give a third-degree burn to anyone who touches it. I don't know what it would do or how it would work, but God, it would be fun as hell to watch what happens, and I'd probably get the chance to punch Elon in the nutsack. Story 30. First, slow time to really think things through. Absorb all the information past and present to make the wisest, best choices to minimize suffering, but especially to eliminate childhood cancers, or provide doctors with a panacea for cancer. Then change the gut biome across the world to reduce obesity in developed nations, and to improve intelligence and awareness and kindness for others. Then, for all the false prophets, I would visit nightmares and night terrors until they repented and turned away. Then cut off the penises of child molesters. I would also revisit the evil people have the most success in life system in world. Story 31. Undo the fact I did not win the $200 million Powerball. I could solve a lot of my current problems with that, and hope I'm smart enough to avoid making expensive mistakes. I want enough that with the interest after tax, I could get stuff for family that would make their lives a lot easier. Buy an average house outright in a few years without having to save every penny to just afford a deposit. And after that, travel for several years with my dogs. Can't leave them behind, they wouldn't understand. Story 32 I would remove disease, poverty, slavery, cheating, greed, war, violence, envy, narcissism, religion, bigotry, snakes, and all abuses. The second second, I would give everyone the answer to the meaning of life. The third second, I would remove all anxiety from everyone who suffers from anxiety. Done. Story 33. Remove three seconds rule. I'd try to undo the cancellation of two shows I really like. The Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance, and Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles also pollution and global warming and stuff. I'd get rid of genocides from the past, but I worry that might mean there will be a lot more in the future. You know, like that saying, not repeating history. I might get rid of the very devastating ones that have greatly decreased or wiped out a people. Story 34. 
Codify Roe v. Wade in current time and I'd own a couple of houses outright. If you want less small world change, you'd need more than three seconds to fix any consequences that might come along with that change. If I had the time, I'd eliminate COVID from existence, past and present. But then I would have to create a reason for everyone in the world to get a month off with pay so that they can bond with their families, make the 2020 babies, find interest in current events, find hobbies they can turn into businesses, etc. 